MSU patch. Oh, okay, okay. I'm in queue, so I'll do the MSI patch preview, sure. All right, chat, here we go. So this is the MSI patch leaked early by Mr. Froxon. Kind enough to um, to give us a rundown, 14.8. What, what patch are we on right now? 14.7. My client says, hey, you guys can't see, but 14.7. So this is the next patch. Void Grubs. We're buffing Void Grubs this patch by buffing the damage and number of grubs required to get the first grub summon spawn. So does that mean that you get three grubs and that means that you get the summon? So if you get the first three, is that the way that works? Or is it four? Is it three or four that you need? Go to Spider Axe for the individual buffs. All I know is that Void Grubs are, generally speaking, in competitive is a huge bait. Like, one team plays for Grubs. C9 is the biggest culprit of this. C9 seemed to think that Grubs would equate to, like, the enemy Nexus. Grubs, oftentimes in competitive, are not very useful. Like, they're, it's better than nothing. It's kind of a consolation prize, but it's not even close to Drake. And I think what they wanted to do is they wanted to make something in this game as compelling as playing around bot side and, and playing for Drake stacking. But they did a bad job with that. I mean, I understand it's it's a experimental. It's like only been a few months of it, but rubs do not have the same game impact as Drake right now. So I think it's good that they're buffing it. They're also separating the spawn of Dragon to make trading less reality and to have games engage teams engage in more conflict. I love that. I love that. Oh my god, I love that. What that is going to do, guys, is that's going to make the I, the games either more snowbally, which could be a bad thing, to be honest. For some people, I think it's going to be a bad thing because it's just like the winning team goes, Grubs, Drake, Grubs, Drake, you know, Harold, Drake, game's over. But I think what it could do, potentially, is it could make the games way more exciting. Because now you don't have the option of opting out of the fight. You're like, oh, no, we don't want that. Like, you know, give him the Drake. We'll take rubs or vice versa. You have to choose between fighting or just giving everything. I love that. Um, Fine. I don't need more enemies. Racing for grubs. It's a buff to mid prior. It's a huge buff to mid prior. That's a good one as well. Yes. It's a, it's a huge buff to the team that is in control of the game. And I think... It's actually really important that they make the game feel like it, they, they make the game feel less like a scaling snooze fest and more of a PvP game. Um, League is at its absolute best, in my opinion, when there's a lot of fighting, when there's a lot of chaos, when it's not just like trading objectives and playing a slow macro game and inching your vision line forward and fighting over vision. And, you know, it's just like, I just don't like that as a viewer. I don't even like that as a player. It's just not exciting or fun. So I love that. Um, okay, so Baron attacks. Baron attacks are a little too unthreatening right now. Really? What the fuck? I think Baron hits so hard. This guy hits like a truck. He's like a fucking Super Saiyan right now. He's a raid boss. They are not intended to be super threatening. As powerful Baron attacks can cause issues with games stalling out and teams being unable to take Barons. I, I, right now, I feel like in competitive, Baron's very, very, uh, in, in a great spot. It's, it's very well balanced because teams cannot just randomly do Baron for no reason at all. Um, but it's not impossible. It's definitely like riding that line of being really difficult to take, uh, but not like so difficult that the winning team can't close out the game. So I, I I'm, not sure about this one, but let's see. We also don't want to excessively overload players' mind share when taking Barons, but we think there's some room to make them stronger. Hmm. People two-man Baron all the time. It depends on the champions. It depends on the... Cha so, like, some champs are really exceptional at taking Barons. So, Tristana, Azir, they're great examples. Kaisa's probably in there. Zai's probably in there. But, some like, I, I think this is also going to further make it so team comps that don't do Baron really quickly are going to suck even more at doing Baron. So, for example, we saw with, with Flyquest, they pick Kalista and they start Baron. Kalista is horrible at taking Baron. I think people super overrate, like, ooh, you can rend it for 1k with the Smite of the Jungler. It's like, well, getting it down to 2k HP with Kalista is such a chore and takes so long. She's, like, one of the worst, as opposed to, like, Varus. Varus melts Baron. If you've ever played Varus or Vayne or Tristana with Navori or Kaisa with Navori, you are just fucking steamrolling Baron. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of my opinion of it right now. Skarner is doing a lot better as players play him, gaining a decent amount of performance day over day. We're targeting some nerfs to bring his top and jungle closer in line. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
So, so Scar is Skarner is a top laner or a jungler, guys? I thought he was a top laner. I watched a, Do a Dobby video about Koreans playing him mostly top. He's not really that popular jungle. He's supposed to be a jungler, I know, but um, usually Riot doesn't make a new champion with like only one role in mind. They don't do that anymore. I feel like it's like bad. It's like bad business. You know, Riot definitely wants instead of twenty percent of the players to have access to this champion and buy their, that champion skins, they would rather have forty or sixty percent of the players have access to that champion. And that champion, like I actually think that factors in to a lot of like why you know Smolder, he's an eighty carry, but he can also be played mid. Um, Senna, she's a support, but she can also be played eighty carry. Like they they do that a lot. I feel like they don't just say like, yo, this champ's this role. They kind of make it more flexible. Rel, yeah, dude, Rel is a great example. Rel was supposed to be a support, but they also made her a jungler. Like, the more possible customers a champion has, the better. Varus, dude, Varus is like unintentional though. They didn't mean to do that. So why did they remove Lu Lucian solo lane? That's a great question. I don't have an answer for you. It is top scorner. It is top scorner.